today we're gonna warm up your head voice. I know that singing higher can be very frustrating at times, but that's probably because you just need to warm it up more often, right? When we talk daily, we don't talk in our higher register as often as we do. Maybe if you have a pet or like a baby, maybe you can vary up your voice like, hi, oh my gosh, so cute. Then yeah, maybe you can warm up your voice that way as well. But if you don't like to talk that way and you would rather have some vocal warm ups, then I have three that I wanna show you today. Before we dive into that, I want you to download my free three day voice lessons. In those lessons, I teach you about breathing, vocal registers, so chest voice, middle voice, and head voice, and then I talk about tension. And as you know, when you go higher into your range, there's always tension, and that's so frustrating, I know. But I talk about ways to alleviate that and why it happens in the first place. We don't want tension when we try to sing higher, especially in our head voice that we are going to do today. All right, so make sure you download that. I want to talk to you about head voice first before we get into the vocal warm ups. So, head voice is a brighter and lighter sound, and you can feel the vibrations. The sound waves are from your head space. So, you can feel that in your oral cavity or your nasal cavity, and that is where it resonates. The great thing about head voice is it produces a projected balance resonance versus something called a falsetto. So make sure you know the difference between falsetto and head voice. Falsetto is being breathy and hollow on purpose as a style. Head voice is different. Like I said, it produces a more balanced resonance because the sound is going through the mouth and the nose. Okay. So, Head voice, you wanna establish a lot of space in your mouth. To do that, you wanna lift your soft palate. So let's lift your soft palate first before we do the exercises. Go ahead and do a yawn. <sighs> Pretty simple, but that lifts your soft palate, creating more space in the mouth. Do it again. <sighs> Go higher in pitch. <sighs> Very nice. So that should lift your soft palate if you're having a hard time creating space in your mouth, okay? So let's do exercise number one. You're gonna go on the word E, ya, starting from note number one, jumping to note number five, and then descending the scale. It sounds like this. E, ya. Okay, so starting here, but if this is too high, you need to start an octave lower. So, but I'm gonna start up here right where my passaggio is at. Go higher and then back down. So here we go. Let's air up here. Yeah, you want less air as you go higher because as you go higher, your vocal folds are stretching, getting thinner and longer. So you don't want to push too much air out or it will shove your vocal cords apart. And with this knowledge in mind, you know that you can't force air to come out to make the sound or to hit the notes. If anything, you want less air to come out, but the stream of air needs to be very strong. So that's why Breath support is so important and understanding how to manage airflow is also important. So we're going to start up high again, right here, and make sure you're not pushing anything just to hit the note, okay? exercise number one going on to exercise number two you're gonna sing on the word who like an owl and the pattern is this <laughs> pretty simple right start on the fifth interval of that chord and then descend okay here we uh, go
engaging your diaphragm. Notice how if I didn't engage my diaphragm, I was a little bit under in pitch. So if you ever get flatter than the pitch you're trying to go for, it's probably because of your breathing, not supporting that sound. And sometimes I was doing that as well and you notice that. So just support your breathing and then you're able to sit on top of that note rather than being under that note. So that was the second exercise, pretty simple, hoo hoo, and then descend, hoo. Okay, all right, so the last exercise is on the word NG. Go ahead and do this, mm, like the word sing, but just the NG part. Sing, right there. Okay, you're gonna descend the scale like this. Let's start. You stop, start on the top part of that scale and then descend. Like that. Okay, here are we a go. finding that ng just sing the word sing and then stay on that mm sound like this sing. okay so that's only if you're having a hard time getting there but it's not a bad thing to go sing as well okay so you can try that too so those are the three exercises that you can do for now to warm up your head voice there are other exercises that you can do to warm up your head voice but i think that's a good starting point if you are just developing your head voice and trying to just warm it up for the day three simple exercises all right so i hope that helped make sure you download the free three-day voice lessons where i teach you how to breathe learn about vocal registers and how to release tension from your throat your jaw and your tongue very important especially if you're trying to sing higher if you're belting or mixing or just singing in general Alrighty, so i hope to see you again that's all for now have a great day